5800X 3D sounds like a cool movie that got remastered. But jokes apart, this processor ka launch at this time of year raises a lot of questions, especially because the 7000 series is just around the corner. So AMD in CES 2022 showed off their new 3D stacking technology, which basically means that they can now connect two CPU dies on top of each other. Right now, the second die can only consist of cache RAM. AMD claims this is the fastest gaming CPU in the world. Which they Intel ne 12900K S launch kar diya, claiming that that was the fastest gaming processor. Okay, but gaming performance to GPU se determine hota hai. CPUs hardly make a difference comparatively and a lot of games react very differently to different CPUs. Some prefer high core count, some prefer cache and some solely rely on clock speed. So is there a fastest gaming processor and is it the Ryzen 5800X 3D? 3D stacking with 3D vCache technology. लेकिन ये कैश को ऐड करने से क्या होता है और ये क्यों रेवोल्यूशनरी है उसकी बात पहले करते हैं। If you take a look at the slides they released at launch, you can see that it's a 5800X chip with another layer on top of it. This is the added cache memory which is amounting to over 100 MB in total. Reference के लिए 12900K में सिर्फ 30 MB है। लेकिन ये कैश से होगा क्या? उसके लिए हमें ये समझना पड़ेगा कि CPU function कैसे होता है। In very simple and basic terms, जो data CPU को feed होता है एक task execute करने के लिए, वो processor के बहुत खरीब उसके cash memory में store होता है for easy access. The cash memory of your CPU will determine आप कितना डेटा क्विक एक्सेस के लिए सीपीयू को दे सकते हो अगर छोटा सा टास्क है तो सीपीयू अपने में ही कर लेगा एज लेस डेटा विल बी रिक्वायर्ड अगर थोड़ा सा लेंदी टास्क है तो वो ज्यादा मेमोरी यूटिलाइज करेगा लेकिन ज्यादा मेमोरी यूटिलाइज करने से ये कैश फुल हो जाता है सिंस देयर इज नो स्पेस फॉर दिस डेटा टू ब्रीथ द सीपीयू सेंड्स द कैश टू द रैम दिस डेटा इज लेटर फीडेड बैक टू द सीपीयू टू अवॉइड ओवरलोडिंग स्टार्ट करते हैं प्राइसिंग से द 12900K इज बीइंग एट द टॉप ऑफ द लैडर इज क्लोज टू 70000 रुपीस द प्राइस इज माइट ड्रॉप फर्दर सिंस इट्स अ न्यू रिलीज और अगर हम 20000 कम करें उसमें व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर अ बेटर जीपीयू बाय द वे यू हैव द 12900K Obviously, we will compare Intel's non-APU variants because Ryzen CPUs don't have inbuilt APUs and also because there is little to no difference in performance between them. And if you reduce the cost of 5800X, you will get 3D, mil lega, which is still 10,000 rupees more expensive than the standard 5800X and you are not getting any extra cores. So then, why do you have more memory than 5800X? Because it will be hard in gaming in 1200K. Mein. If we average out the gaming benchmarks, the 5800X 3D is beating the 12900KF by 7%. Need I remind you that this is cheaper and still on the DDR4 platform? The only games it's being outpaced in are those which require high core count. The 12900KS, which is the current fastest gaming processor, is only beating the 5800X 3D by around 3%. For something that costs almost 30K more, I think the 5800X 3D is a better choice. But I know that AMD has not CPU for productivity, but let's see. 5800X 3D clock speed is less than 1500X 3D, clock speed. Standard 1500X is less than 1500X 3D, and this doesn't work. AMD says this is because they don't want to overvolt the 3D cache, or the CPU will be bad for the CPU. 5800X 3D will be obvious disadvantage for i9. Se तो 5800X 3D को उसके प्राइस रेंज वाले प्रोसेसर से कंपेयर करते हैं तो 12700K। राइट ऑफ द बैट आप नोटिस करोगे कि 5800X 3D हर चीज में 12700K से पीछे है बट वॉट यू माइंड नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड इसकी वो लिटरली सेम परफॉर्मेंस दे रहा है 5800X की तरह तो 5800X 3D डी इज नॉट द फास्टेस्ट गेमिंग सीपीयू परफॉर्मिंग द सेम एस फिफ्टी हंड्रेड एक्स फॉर प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड कॉस्ट टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज मोर अब हू इन द राइट माइंड वुड बाई दिस प्रोसेसर रेज्यूमेबली गेम इट माइट नॉट बी वट एम डी एडवर्टाइज बट लुक एट वॉट यूर गेटिंग सुपीरियर गेमिंग परफॉर्मेंस टू अ फ्लैगशिप आई नाइन वाइल जस्ट coming up 4% short to the 12900KS while being cheaper and on a DDR4 platform. 105W TDP which is basically one third of an i9 on full load. And not to mention, technically speaking, you can use this on a X370 which is a 5 year old motherboard which does promise performance gains provided you give it the right cooling solution and a good GPU. Because processors play less of a role for gaming than GPUs. Jho log sif gaming karte hai aur unko apne first ya second gen Ryzen se upgrade karna hai without too much of a hassle, this is the perfect choice. And before everyone starts critiquing Ryzen for really Releasing this on AM4 just before they're about to switch platforms. Up ye bhi sunslo ki AMD is just testing out 3D stacking on chips. Ye without a doubt 7000 series tak bhi follow karega and DDR5 RAM pe bhi aega. This is the final feather in the cap for the AM4 socket. A fitting goodbye to one of the most upgradable sockets we have ever seen. So let's see what the future has in store for us.